As part of the Smuggler's Run update in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, there are a lot of weaponized planes that you can get your hands on. Some of them are better than others, and in today's video, I'm gonna be stating my personal favorite and the best out of the bunch, which is the Rogue. I think in real life it's based off of the P-51 Mustang, and what's weird is that even though it's a propeller-based plane, it's actually one of the fastest planes in the game, having a top speed of 175 miles per hour. That is incredibly fast. In fact, it actually goes a bit faster than the laser, which is an F-16 jet. So yeah, the Rogue is actually an incredibly fast vehicle. Now I should point out that you do have to upgrade the Rogue, but only coming in at a price tag of 1.2 million when you've completed like three or four smugglers run sources, which is incredibly easy to do. It'll maybe take you 20 minutes. And after you've done those sources, yeah, you can get the trade price for this vehicle. I would highly suggest to get it. For 1.2 2 million. Not only are you getting a plane that is incredibly fast, incredibly maneuverable, but as well, it does come with an explosive minigun that you can equip on it. It does have homing missiles. It also has flares, which you can launch. It just has everything going for it. It's definitely a better plane, in my opinion, to the laser, especially judging that a vehicle like the laser costs $6.5 million. I really can't name a plane that's better than this. Sure, there's vehicles like the B-11 Strike Force, but even then, the B-11 is much slower than the Rogue, and it's not nearly as maneuverable, and even then they both carry explosive miniguns. So as you can see, the Rogue and as well the Laser have made it pretty similar times across the map. The Rogue still has to continue going a little bit further. The only thing I will say about the Rogue is because you have to constantly adjust where it's flying in, each minute adjustment turns the plane so much you do lose a bit of speed, but as you'll notice, I'm at the same mountain about almost the exact same time for both of these planes. So right now the Laser is just flying over the mountain and right now the rogue is just flying over the mountain. So don't let that propeller fool you. The Rogue is just as fast as some of the other fastest vehicles in the game. Now, when it comes to weapons and explosives, you'll first of all notice that there is bombs that you can drop out of the Rogue. Now, I have cluster bombs equipped, but you can put incendiary bombs, normal bombs, which are actually the best in my opinion. The only reason I have cluster bombs is because when they first came out, I equipped them because I was big dumb dumb man. You also have homing missiles, just like the laser. It fires boom boom, and then you have to wait a little bit of a cooldown, like four seconds to shoot them again. And then finally, you have an explosive minigun. Now, I do want to point out the explosive minigun has two disadvantages compared to the lasers. First of all, it does not have nearly as fast of a rate of fire, which means that it does take a bit more fire to clear ground troops. Although I will say, shooting air troops, it's still pretty easy to knock off a tail fin and just destroy a plane instantly. But the biggest downside for the Rogue is that the weapons are placed on the wings. And as you can see, it's kind of awkward trying to shoot it like the APC. Now, you'll notice incredibly quickly that the APC was blown up. So the explosive minigun's do a lot of damage. And as I said before, if you were shooting at an airplane or anything that was trying to dogfight you, you'd very quickly destroy it. But compared to the laser, and you'll notice even with missing a couple of the laser shots because it wasn't fully lined up for how tall the plane is, the APC still got demolished. So while the offensive capabilities on the Rogue might not be as good as the insane minigun the laser does carry, I still think they're pretty darn good. Now when it comes to defensive capabilities, this is where the Rogue wins in almost every category. First of all, as you just saw, you have the ability to launch flares, a lot of flares as well. So if uh, an Oppressor Mark II gets a brief glimpse of you, tries firing a homing rocket, very easily you can just boom, right click on the D-pad, launch some flares into the air, and you are going to be completely protected. But let's say even a flare doesn't direct the missile, you get hit by a homing rocket. Well, as you'll notice, one homing missile is not even gonna just hurt the plane. Like sure, it'll start smoking, maybe the engine will stutter a little bit, but you can fly completely fine, and judging that it only takes two minutes to cross the entire map and how fast this plane is, you will very easily be able to get wherever you are going still, even if you get damaged while flying the Rogue. And the best part is that it can survive up to two homing rockets, the third one will blow it up. Compare that to the laser, the laser will only survive one homing rocket. You will not die if you get hit by the homing rocket, but I should also add that once you get hit by the rocket, you're basically screwed because your plane's gonna just start falling out of the sky, you're gonna have parachute out. The Rogue, that is not the case. If it gets hit by a homing rocket, you're still fine. You can still continue your dogfight, take out whoever's trying to shoot at you. Even if you get hit by two rockets, as you can see, you're still fine. It's the third one that will actually end up finishing you off. 
Next up, we have one of the most important tests, especially if you are ever stuck in a dogfight, and that is maneuverability. So we're gonna fly straight through this bridge. Ooh, man, that gets your little, uh, your little hair sticking up on your chinny chin chin, but we made it through, and now we got a couple more of the easier bridges to fly under in the LS River. The Rogue is incredibly maneuverable. In fact, I would say it's almost too maneuverable. You slightly tap the stick and you can just see it flings the plane around, but it isn't uncontrollable. As you can see, I'm able to fly it through these bridges pretty easily. Now, I will say I am a pretty good pilot when it comes to GTA, so you definitely have to be a pretty good pilot, especially if you want to win dogfights with this type of plane. But when it comes to dodging missiles, the fact that it's able to turn so darn fast means that it'll be actually amazing at dodging missiles. Honestly, you might even be able to dodge like a Deluxo missile that's firing at you because of how fast and just quick this thing turns. I can say for a fact that the Rogue will very very easily win almost any dogfight because not only can you accelerate faster than a lot of the jets in this game, but you can literally just dodge their missiles that they fire at you, especially with the flares as well. There's really just no worries when you're in a dogfight apart from maybe the explosive minigun of a laser, but yeah, I think the rogue is just insane. I hate to say this about the laser as it's always been one of my favorite planes in the game for maneuverability and just everything about it, but man, it really stands no comparison to the rogue on its handling. It took me about 10 attempts just to get the laser through that first tunnel there. Only took me two attempts for the rogue. And as you can see, I couldn't even make it past the tunnel into the lower parts because it just doesn't have that maneuverability. Now, the laser is not a bad plane on its handling, but it just doesn't have nearly the capabilities that the rogue does. You can see when I'm going back and forth on my tails trying to turn it, it just does not turn nearly as fast as the rogue. In fact, fact, when we get towards the end of the canal here and I'm have to turn the plane, you'll notice I literally cannot make the turn under the bridges, which I could in the Rogue, so I just had to give up and fly up. So while the laser is an incredibly versatile plane, it's a jet, it's got amazing capabilities on everything, and there's a lot of other planes in the game like the Pyro that I tested for the tunnels there as well, the laser, everything, it just does not do nearly as good of a job as the Rogue. So I have to say the Rogue is the best plane in the game, especially for the price tag of only $1.2 million. Sure, you might be able to have a missile barrage with the B-11 Strike Force, but judging that it's $3.5 million, almost three times the price tag, I really can't say it's a better plane. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about the Rogue. If you agree with me, if you disagree, maybe I missed a plane that I just haven't bought yet in the game. But to me, for how cheap it is, for its insane dogfighting capabilities, the amount of missiles it can survive, plus the fact that it has flares that can drop bombs. And I should also mention, unlike the laser, it can hold two people. All for that, bundled into the price tag of 1.2 million, cheaper than 90% of super and sports cars that are released at this time in GTA, I just don't see any reason to buy a Rogue. But hopefully, as always, you enjoyed today's video, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.